sisters say they took action with the goal of protecting customers and students at a local beauty school from possibly being exposed to COVID-19. For that, they say they got fired. It happened at the Douglas J. Aveda School in Royal Oak, which is where our own Kim Russell is live tonight with details on this case. Kim. Yes, here's what we know. We know that at some point someone at the Douglas J. Avita Institute tested positive for COVID-19. Then two receptionists were working when they got a phone call that they felt they couldn't ignore. I thought we were doing what was right. Christina and Samantha Coville got a call Friday from the mom of a student at Douglas J. Avita Beauty School in Royal Oak, where they were receptionists. She said apparently that a student had gotten the virus and they sent home everybody in the esthetician program. And what were we doing to keep her kids safe? The Coville sisters told her they were unaware of the situation. I called our my um, boss, but she didn't answer. So then I called the assistant manager and I said, hey, um, is this true? Like, why didn't you tell me? And she pretty much was like, oh, that's my, not my job to let you know. They looked at the schedule. They saw the esthetician program had been canceled for part of the day and learned co-workers had been sent in to sanitize. The people who were up in the spa who said that they did the cleaning said that all they really did was like spray it down with alcohol really good. They looked up CDC guidelines. As you can see, it says if someone sick was in a business, the area they were in should be shut down for 24 hours before both cleaning and disinfecting to minimize potential for other employees being exposed to respiratory droplets. They say they reached out to bosses again to find out whether the call was accurate, that someone sick was there. When no one answered, they and other workers decided they were going home to protect themselves, clients, and students. From a moral standpoint, like I said, I was, I know their kids, they're all like such great people and I could be putting them at risk. They say then they got this text, they were fired. They say the school later sent out this email saying that on July 31st, it learned someone who had been there tested positive July 30th. I reached out to Douglas J. Avita. It responded with a statement saying it cannot comment about what happened due to privacy and quote, there have not been any reports of a positive test from exposure that resulted from being in our locations. To be frank, we asked numerous questions that the Institute is simply refusing to answer. It did say that workers made a decision they were not authorized to make. These sisters say if there had been communication or someone had answered their phone calls, that could have prevented that it wasn't their fault. Their priority is keeping people safe and protecting lives. Reporting live in Royal Low, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Kim.